Hey guys, the Great Mixer here. Today we have a new series of vid videos, and it will be about smart scooter. I will be making videos for this smart scooter. It's a red smart scooter. Actually, this is a damaged one. Have only a damaged capacitor. Everything inside it is good. So we will make about it video videos. Today's video will be about how to replace a battery in a smart scooter. Now, bear in mind, since it is a nearly damaged, it was overhauled, some of the wires will be maybe disconnected, and some of them not. So the disconnected ones, and especially I know the battery wire will be disconnected, because uh, we are not using it to, so, to avoid, you know, shorts, we just disconnect the battery. So, enjoy the video. Let's start. To remove the battery, flip the scooter around. Okay. The battery will be on this side, the right side. Cover. It has one, two. So it has nine screws that you have to remove. So let's start. And there, Phillips head. Use a regular, you know, flip Phillips head screwdriver. And when you're working on these scooters, I highly recommend you to use a magnetic screwdriver tip and just a disclaimer some of the screws might be hard to remove that's normal now yes this scooter is in very great condition only the capacitor is blown so yeah but we'll be able to use it as a change so, I actually recommend you to go like an each bolt hole as it upside. Like if you finish this, go this, finish this hole, go to this hole, like that. So, it will be evenly. So, yeah, let's loosen the remaining bolts. I will show you those wires and their connectors. Now, once you remove the screws, store them so they won't get loose. If I just lift the scooter to show you, so this is the battery. This is the motherboard that have some connectors for the cover. So what you will do? Just show you. So there's two wires going, and if I see here, this is the connector for them. There's this clip here. Just hold it and remove it a minute guys okay guys so let's continue and for you being able to see I will zoom in you just make the correct angle uh, one minute guys I will make the correct angle and I will come back okay so let me just show you again so in the scooter let me just zoom out and show you the thing so, at the battery cover, this plastic cover here, there's four screws holding it at each side. As you can see here and here. So, unscrew them. So, uh, unscrew them, but evenly. So, like at X, do this screw, then the other side screw at the opposite. So, like you're doing an X, unscrew it. So guys, let me show you where is the harness for the battery. Get this near. Wait guys. Okay, so if you are able to see this yellow connector, it's two yellow connectors, these are the harness for the battery. In my case, they are disconnected. In your case, you should disconnect them. That will discharge the battery, like from the system. And now, Continue unscrewing. As you can see, now the cover is loose. So you're able to see 
I can lift it as you can see now it's loose only there's that one screw remaining to be removed Uh, this is screw is just stuck So the trick is bring your screwdriver make sure it's magnetic and put it on the screw Have the flat head screwdriver under it and pull it out. I will show you how Because I'm not able to show you here because of the angle is tight Now I will show you Now once Me just zoom in Okay, so if I zoom out here, good. If you look out here, the cover is loose, right? No, wait, let me set the camera. Okay, guys, so you'll not be able to see the full cover. If you're able to see the cover is loose, sometimes you will be able to get it out. So this cover here that holds the battery sits like that sometimes you will be able to get it out without removing the wires in my case it slipped right out without removing the wires but if you had to disconnect the wire let me show you how to so let's say for example this wire there's one tab here that you will just hold this tab down with your other hand just disconnect the wire for example let me show you so hold this tab and push the wire out as you're able to see just like that and make sure that you remember which wire goes to which so with this cover out make sure you save the screws of it and now you can remove the battery it just simply slides out and make sure you disconnected the hardness This is the battery and that's how that's the removal of the battery and of course I'll show you the installation so let me buy the new battery and come back welcome so now I buy the new battery now to install it the way you to install it your harness should face the left side at the top the top left side as you can see top left and just uh, you know, fit it in between the wires and it will go on in place and make sure of course you connect the harness I will keep it disconnected in mine because mine is blown so okay now the battery is in but it's not hold it what holds this battery is this bracket here so yeah just slip it in no, mine got in and out, like get in and out, without having to remove any wire. But in your case, it might be different. So just keep that in mind. Take your screws and screw them on for places. Just zoom in one way. So, you know, I told you about them. You have one here, one here, there, and but you will see the weight. So one line, okay, one here, and one here, and the same places at the other side. So yeah, now you just screw the screws, you line up the place. Now it is key, so like I fit it just in the wrong way, so make sure you keep that in mind. Because yeah, for it to fit perfectly, it's key. Okay, get your screw. Just like that. And then screw it on. And this is the good place and the good time for having a magnetic tip screw. Mine is magnetic, but it's very weak. So yeah, just fit the screw in. And screw it in. As you can see, where is the screw? Going. Tighten it, but do not over tighten. Basically, in this scooter, tighten all the screws in a way you don't over tighten them. 
at the other screw and fit it on the other side let me try show you so I'm unable to show you the other side let me try to zoom out okay you might be so if you look here so this is the side as you can see those two holes screw it on I'm not able to show you because of my camera but yeah screw it in the same way as you can see yeah I know that you are not able to see me screwing those two screws but they are the same as under and once you are done with that guys once you are done with that now what's remaining is to put our cover back on make sure you get correctly the led should be like the same way at the other side there's other side and make sure you don't forget to connect the connector that you removed just simply goes on the motherboard let me show you here just you know simply take it i will show you from here okay as you can see that's the connector simply take it as you can see it here and push it in let me try to show you as you can see the connector take it and push it in make sure you push it in the correct way once you hear a click you know that it's in and now just what's remaining is to put the cover back on you have to pop it in but make sure make sure guys once you put this cover back on make sure that you do not force like you put the cover and there's like one wire coming out and you force it with the cover that will short the wire and that will blow your capacity so if some if your cover is not able to be like not install just you know remanage your cables so with me i have to remanage my cables so i'll do that and i will come back you okay, guys i remanaged my cables now let's get it in line up the screw holes and give you know the cover a good pull tab and if it is not going in just screw one of the screws in the hole and it will be forced in there's one screw here left so the cover is not in so i'll screw this screw to force the cover down with the screw and i'll cliff tighten the other side because there will be now some pressure on the other side so make sure you tighten that let me try to show you it as you can see Right here, as you can see the hole, that's in the other side. So yeah, just tighten the screws. And the screws will force the cover to go back on. I find that that's the only way to force the cover in. You should not force it, fit it in because it will not be fitted on correctly I don't think guys that you have to see me screw on the screws so I will end it here so guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video please like and uh, subscribe and see you in the next video guys